Uh, this is Mark from River Rock Television uh, on a rather luxurious tour bus parked outside the Limelight in Belfast on a freezing cold March. Who said it was? It's officially springtime! <laughs> it's freezing! Oh. Uh, outside the Limelight, uh, we're in a wee while. Um, Black Star Riders, Gun, and the Amorettes are probably going to level what's left of this Victorian mm. building. Pleased mm. to say beforehand, I'm joined by the one and only Dante from Gun. Hi there, how are you doing everyone? Welcome <laughs> back to Belfast. It yeah. hasn't been that long since you've been here, a couple of, less than a couple of years. Yeah, I think it's definitely less. I mean, I know my whereabouts. I, I came out the bus earlier on there and I kind of knew exactly where I was going, so for me to do that, it must have been quite recent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's 18, mo- 18, really months to, 18 months to... Because I've got a really bad memory. <laughs> but yeah, no, that great crowd here. Always been a great crowd here in Belfast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a very, it was a great, it was a very uh, a weird night that night, if I remember now, because it was, it was in the middle of football season, Northern Ireland were playing at home in the European qualifiers, right. which did affect crowd numbers a wee bit. Scotland were also playing that night. You were asking the score from the stage. We were all on our phones yeah. trying to get you the score. Know. Unfortunately, it wasn't as good news for you as no, it was for us. No, it wasn't. I know. I was but absolutely you're, gutted. But you're not holding it against us. You're no, not here. No, not at all. Not at all. Well, I'm, I'm glad I've got that sort of Italian sort of uh, descent uh, and blood in me. <laughs> so I kind of just asked for it. Well, the Italians and the Irish yeah, have always got on together anyway, so, haven't we? Big time. Big time. Well, the Wang Vikings, so I just not everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Iceland. <laughs> they were good. Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> but, uh, no, so it's great to see you back. No, um, it was great. You're over, with, as you said, with the Black Star Riders. Star Riders. Yeah, no, the tour's been going great, actually. It's been some great shows. Um, uh, we've started off in Cardiff, I think it was Tug Cardiff, and then Wrexham and uh, Dublin last night. and then. I heard you had a rather a good time in Dublin last night. There was a few, uh, maybe a few bevies indulged in. Yeah, we went to, um, I think it was a place called the Living Room. We were trying to watch the fight, the hay fight, and uh, I ended up. I've got a best friend here that lives in lives uh, lived in Dublin lives in Dublin, and um, I totally forgot all about him <laughs> after, <laughs> after the gig. And I went to go and see the fight, and I'm like, ready to order a pint, and I'm like, crap, I better go back. I uh, just better go back, I was, you know. So I ended up staying at his house last night. So, yeah, no, it was. Oh, listen, I'll, you know. You can't come to Ireland and not have a good no, time. Oh, my God, it's brilliant. A Saturday night. No, oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's a good buzz, good vibe. Yeah, it's Sunday night here in Belfast, and it's nearly sold out as well, so. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 as I say, I'm really looking forward to it. The only thing is, you wish you could play a wee bit longer set wise, you know, mm. I think it's a 40 minute set we've got. But I kind of. Um, you know, you want to cram in as many songs as possible, so I've been doing, people, you know, the fans probably think I'm quite, um, you know, arrogant, but I'm just trying to cram in as many <laughs> songs as possible. Well, that's what you're here you for, know, is playing so, music, isn't it? Yeah. So but you, you sort of get your own back a wee bit in a, in a couple of days' time, don't you? Because you are reversing yeah. roles with the Black yeah, Star Riders. Yeah, no, no, I'm looking forward to that. Obviously, hometown, home turf, you know, it's, it's always a good crowd, and uh, no, that should be good fun. Um, and we haven't played Glasgow for a while. You know, I, I don't think we've played it for 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 a while. I think the last time was at the Battlelands, was our sort of main headline show, and that was like not last year, but the year before. You know, uh, or uh, December, and um, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't too great that that night. You know, so I'm looking. At, I mean, I was um, I was I had to go to the doctors on the night of the show, and um, we call him the Rock Doc, and uh, he got it. Give me, you know, seen over. <laughs> he was like, he goes like, Are you playing the show tonight? And I was like, yeah. He goes that. Like, well, you shouldn't be playing the show tonight. I goes that. Like, Why? He goes that. Like, You've got a seriously serious bad chest infection. He goes that. Like, what I'll do is I'll give you, I'll give you these drugs, and it will get you through probably. How long is your set? He goes. I was probably about an hour and a half, an hour and forty-five. He goes. Well, this should probably get you through to about an hour, and then you're on your own after that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, right, okay. We but just had a rock star openly admit to taking drugs before a show. Yeah. <laughs> Purely medicinal purposes, of course. We don't advocate, advocate them for any other reason, of course. Yeah, and then I actually asked him. He was like, "Can I have a drink?" He goes, uh, "Yeah, you can have a drink on these. Yeah, he goes, uh, but stick to spirits. <laughs> <You know? laughs> don't go near beer. That's not good for you." 
but stick to spirits. <laughs> yeah, hot toadies and stuff like that, whiskies, anything that will warm the vocal cords and stuff like that. So, I guess you'll advise to give it a shot. Doctors are normally telling you not to drink in Glasgow. Only, only in Glasgow. <laughs> I'm probably only in Belfast. <laughs> not in Belfast and, and the hospitals and things. I hear your driver had a bit of an accident as well. Yes, he's, I, he's not going to be able to drive his back home. So you're so, stuck in Belfast for a few days, maybe? Well, I think no. I think Black Star Riders. Um, Bus driver is going to take us to the uh, the port, and then obviously there'll be another driver there to meet us and stuff like that. So that was awfully nice of them. Yeah, well, to that'll offer. teach him for doing more than driving buses. Well, I think it was he was trying to put on the power cable, and he just sort of kind of jumped. He thought he was like I don't know. He thought he was sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> So only again, only happened in Belfast. Like. Yeah. Oh no. But but listen, uh, you know, it never. You know, the same bus driver, and the you know, it never goes without incident with you know, not with him. The last time we were out with them, we had two um, blowouts and tires. You know, on two separate occasions, and it was like, I'm, and I said to him this morning, because that's funny how nothing's happened. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he said, you know, he makes it even worse for it. I feel so sorry for him. He's his birthday today. Ah, but he broke his foot on his birthday. Ah, you'll have to dedicate a song to him, so you will. I will do, I will do. So, uh, it's been a couple of years since the last album as well, Frantic, yeah. which was magnificent. I yeah. listened to it twice back to back on my book before yeah. it came out today. Oh, cheers, man. Um, after this tour, we've got the new album. We're going to be putting a new song in, in, the, uh, in the set. We have been, um, and it's been going down really well. I think, oh God, it's hard to say. I, <clears throat> for me, it's a more of a heavier sounding album. This next album, you know, um, it was very soulful for the last one. Yeah, the gospel I had, I totally. Stuff. I was kind of, in, I was listening a lot, and you know, um, sort of, I had total sort of the, the sort of chain gang sort of stuff from the thirties. That's what I was kind of getting into, you know, and I loved that. I, was, I loved that, you know. The way they sort of sung with passion and stuff like that, and just wanted to try and recreate that and bring it into a sort of a rock element mm. towards, you know. And I think it kind of worked, but um, but this is going to be a bit darker, a wee bit heavier, again, you know. And with the new guitarist Tommy that we've got in the band, who's played a lot of guitar parts in it, kind of adds to that and lends itself well to it as well. But I'm really, really excited about letting people hear this new album. So. So what's the timeline on that? We hope that but it's recorded, all finished, recorded. So we're going through the back and forth mixes stage, you know. So, um, but yeah, no, it's a, I can't wait. It's, it's, and as I said, the new one has been going down an absolute storm. So um, no, uh, September, September, August, September time. I think we're, we're looking at one. Well, we're looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like a good note to finish on, because mm-hmm. this man's got a show to do and a yeah. voice to protect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> plenty, of, plenty of hot um, potties in Katie's bar. I can highly hard. recommend them. <laughs> don't don't take her advice though. <laughs> she uh, got um, Van Ray extremely drunk one night because she recommended he try Black Bush before he went on stage, and he rather liked it a wee bit too much. Oh, Four really doubles good. later, he fell off the stage. Seriously, <laughs> so don't listen to anything she recommends. What's on that, on, <laughs> on that note, this is Monk from Uber Rock Television. This is Dante from Gun. Keep yeah. her lit. Keep her between the hedges. <laughs>